Hi, my name is Yoganan and I am here to talk about IBM Storage Insights integration with Grafana. Storage Insights is a cloud-based AIOps powered observability platform. It provides a unified single pane of glass for your storage, fabric and switches. It aggregates, correlates metadata across these resources and gives the actual insights. Also, this data is available via REST API to integrate with ecosystem and provide enhanced value and functionality. By making use of these APIs, we have built an open source Grafana dashboard which pulls the data from IBM Storage Insights periodically and displays it in Grafana. This feature is available as a JSON file in IBM Storage GitHub page. Grafana dashboard configuration is a three-step process wherein first step is to set up the prerequisites and second is to set up a data source and finally third step is importing the Grafana dashboard. Once all the prerequisites are completed, let's move on to the next step to create a data source. To create a data source on your Grafana instance, navigate to connections, data source. On your data source page, click on add data source. In the search bar, type infinity and select this data source. Name the data source of your choice. For example, in this case, I am considering it as fetch data tenant one. Go to authentication tab and click on API key value pair. Under the auth details, enter key as X API key and value as rest API key copied from the storage insights. Under the allowed host section, provide the allowed host value as HTTPS insights.ibm.com and click on add. Once all the details are entered, Click on save and test button. And now we have successfully created a data source. Once you have all the prerequisites met and data source is created, let's look at how we can import the IBM Storage Insights Grafana dashboard using a JSON file. On your Grafana instance, select open menu, click on dashboard. On the right hand side, click new button and then click on import. Select the option Upload Dashboard Using JSON File. Select the JSON file that is downloaded from the GitHub page. In the folder dropdown, you can select the location where you wish to store the dashboard. In the data source dropdown, select the appropriate infinity data source that is created. Click on Import. Once the Grafana dashboard is loaded, enter the tenant ID in the tenant ID text box. A tenant ID information can be fetched from IBM Storage Insights URL. Once the tenant ID is entered, all the panels starts reflecting the data. Click on save dashboard icon and select save current variable values as the default dashboard and click on save button. Now the dashboard is completely configured and it pulls the data periodically from the storage insights. In case if you have any new requirements to show the additional information on your dashboard, apart from the available data, you can go ahead and make those changes as per your needs. Here is the quick informative video on configuring IBM storage insights Grafana dashboard using REST APIs. Thank you. Bye.